that day pass, please. After the late day pass, that's the order. Team orders will always be controversial. They're just holding each other up. Come on, boys. Oh. Can't afford these on these quick stops. That's a shocker. Everybody's getting docked 100 bucks. I'm going to DJR, Team Penske. <laughs> we couldn't wait for you, I'm sorry. Go, <laughs> <laughs> boy, go. Go on. <laughs> Is there crocodiles out there? It sort of turned and like ran at us. I'm out, I'm out. We're about to do a uh, PT session. PT! They reckon it won't be too difficult. Welcome to Four Edge. My name's Cole for Robert. Find some space within this toned area. Jug in the spot. Let's go, nice quick. Raise those knees. Fitness expectations are normally pretty high. Down! So I did expect a lot, and I was told to expect a lot. And yeah, it didn't hold back. And they, they did well. What do we do now? You need a drink now? Fire up, let's go! I'm never joining the army. Hey, you know when your parents tell you to do something you'd be better off doing once you've done it? This is not one of them. <laughs> Hey, Betty. Happy birthday, baby. Thanks, love. That's better. Yeah, we're at the um, Army Barracks in Townsville. We're here from a relationship we've built over the last three years, just supporting wounded, injured, and ill. Mate, thank you. Legend. Cheers. Make it for your sweaty shit on. I don't know. Well, it was someone else's sweaty shit. That's cool, eh? Yeah, that's cool as. How can you get to drive one of these? <laughs> I think it's got less understeer than my race car. Townsville is located right at the gateway of the Great Barrier Reef in tropical North Queensland. It's such a wonderful winter escape for the entire supercars paddock. Townsville is a fantastic race track. 24 cars on the grid launch into action. We're lucky to have it on the calendar. I think the design of it is really special and quite unique. It's a place where the fans can really feel connected with the cars and the racing. Yes, good job. It's a street circuit on one end and a hybrid parkland circuit on the other. Something must have shit itself. The worst thing that can happen is you can be caught in the wet. The smallest little mistake has big consequences. Look at that, Crashed. got damaged. Oh, my goodness, there's a fire there at Brad Jones Racing. Are you able to come and have a chit chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about 30 seconds yeah. away, so... You've actually acquired half of the racing entitlements contract for Anton's car. Yep, yep. So congratulations on that person. Yeah, thank You're you. Yeah, part owner now. Yeah, yeah, it's great, good. great thing. So what do I think of Barry having team ownership in our pit lane? Let me show you the text that I sent him the moment that I found out. F***ing outstanding, mate. I love that you finally have equity in the game. How appropriate. Being a part owner now is really exciting and you know, Betty's taken it, I guess, that it's taken some pressure off her. She knows that if she's not at a race, I'm there representing the team as an official owner. I've always run the team like it's my own anyway, so nothing's going to change. It just come to a time when I've decided to take a bit of a back step. And um, Barry, he's the most trusted person that I have, and I love him. He's like a brother. And we came to an arrangement, and he's going to buy into Rec 99. Thanks for catching up. Yep. Just Barry, all the best. No problem. Thanks. Weekend. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. It's my most hated part of the weekend, and it's f***ing raining. At a place that never rains. See, look at the surfs. It's f***ing terrible. The surfs is 
slippery as, hey, that's so slippery. All the rubber and oil and everything's soaked in, just seeps out and it doesn't, it doesn't get washed away, it sits on top. We're gonna go on trackside tonight and talk about that podcast wall. Oh, the podcast wall. <laughs> what do you reckon I should do? Uh, I don't know. I've listened to both of them. Have you? Yep. Oh, you're a good bloke. This could get really ugly. You should just, I just reckon, just call it out. Just Scott's, it. Scott's too sensitive for his own good. I reckon you should just make an all out war on live TV. I could. And then drag that onto the racetrack and then take him out. Bring back one. the Biff. Bring back the Biff, Paul Morris style. <laughs> Go on, gas, more gas. Gas, gas, gas. Hey, darling. <laughs> Hi, sexy. Hi. This is a man's relationship. Thank you. How are you going, fellas? All right, how are you going? Oh, good. It's not cold. Now, Scotty, something popped up. You know, I can, yeah, you know exactly yeah, what I'm going to ask yeah, you here. Yeah, yeah. We know that there's a lot of podcasting going on, and yeah. congratulations on yours, Balls and Bumpers. It's yeah. fantastic. Thank I've been you. tuning in and listening. There it's was a piss take, but yeah, it's right. There's, there, yeah, seemed nah. to, there seems to be a, a little bit of back and forth between you and yeah. David Reynolds. So we've got a clip here of what's transpired <laughs> in the last few weeks. Just take a listen. He's I reckon doing he's job. doing an amazing job. He is doing yeah, a good job. Yeah, he is. He's driving well. You need, he, you, there is you no need, doubt about you need, it. You need a good car. You need a good driver. And pair you them need a good team. And a good team. You pair those three elements together, basically you can win every race there is. Like, but there's definitely still some people I noticed on a couple of podcasts over the last week that still think that uh, if I had a different teammate or whatever, that I'd be getting smoked. So um, Name and shame. Have we got anyone out there that you want to just really do a drive-by in oh, true Scott McLaughlin really, style? Oh, I've just been copping it from Reynolds, that's for sure. So is there a little bit more to this story? I still story? don't know what I've done to Reynolds. I think, I think uh, you know, our, our team doesn't get much credit from Davey, but um, I don't know how you can have a rivalry with Davey, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Thanks. Yeah. Do it. Do what? Talk some shit. Like go hard. Nah, I'll see what happens. I just played the podcast. And what did Scott you, say? The podcast from Scotty. And what did he say? He said it's hard to have a rivalry with Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, g'day, guys. Hey, How you going? Good to see you. I don't have a beef with anyone. No. He was quite robust in his rebuttal to What did he say? He said that you're a little drama and you pick on him. Fair enough. <laughs> well, I think there's a little bit, of, little bit of realness to it, but I think it's just jealousy on my behalf that, you know, he's winning everything and they're doing a fantastic job down the road. And, we're trying our hardest here and we just can't match it. Awesome. See you guys, have a good day. What kind of contact have you got? Nah, I just said, why would he care what I think? What I think is one every race there is. <laughs> Thank you. Came up. <laughs> oh, they're the f light like a so f sensitive today, eh? 100% they like revving me up. I think Anton's pretty good. He's a bit nicer to me sometimes, but David does it because he knows I bite. So I probably, I probably do it to myself as well. I need to stop biting and he might get bored and move on to the next person. There you go. Thank you. All right. Uh, I found out that you took into my sister on Tinder yesterday. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, yes. And we'd like to get a photo so I just thought I can get a bit upset at because... <laughs> OK. Oh, How'd you go? That is... Oh, well, turns out good. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Do you remember Nikita? Oh. Oh, there's so many, isn't there? I've had a busy day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best story of my life. Thanks, mate. Have you write to Nikita from Anton on there? 
I love you. I'll see you tonight. Kiss. N I K I T A. N I. That is the best, the best, the best. Ice made my day. Go tell the team, AT. Anton talking to his sister on Tinder was the funniest thing that's probably ever happened to me at a signing session. Because we always give him shit about it, but he always denies it, like he's nah, not on there, he's not on there. And he's still denying it. It's made my day, thank you. I haven't been on Tinder for weeks. <laughs> I haven't been on there for weeks, so I don't know Whatever. I've got no bio and I've taken like athlete and everything off there. So all it's got is my name, blue tick and photos. Why would you have athlete? No, because they look at it and go, who the f is this guy? And they scroll and they, the more they scroll, the more they like. So that's my, my game. Like actually physically like or just like you as in like, oh, this seems alright. Hey, oh, well, I guess both. I had to give it some gas. Huh? We should go and find uh, Anton's Tinder date. Let's go scope, scope around. Excuse me, are you your name's Nikita? No. No, no. Okay. I'll keep searching. Nikita? <laughs> Nikita! Nikita! The funny thing is, that's how most of the drivers find their girlfriends. Walking down pit lane yelling out their name. <laughs> Tahan! <laughs> you, is your name Nikita? Sorry? Nikita. Your name? Nikita? No. No. All of a sudden, she just turned up. Now come with no, me. Come no. with me. Nikita, come no, with me. Please just no. come on. No. Anton! I don't know. I just didn't expect to find her. Just randomly walking down pit lane when I was yelling out her name. and just. I found her! Nikita! I found her! It's actually her. It's actually her. She's not bad too. <laughs> Go. Yeah. Please. Do it for the TV. So you're going to catch up with him tonight? He unmatched with me on TV. Oh, no! Yeah, Oh, no! What an ass. I'm going to stick it to him. Tell him he's bad. Hey, Nikita. Nikita. What's your phone number? I've just got, I've got to pass it on. Come on. What is it? Now, like, just sign it and, like, a kiss. Please? <laughs> You're killing me. It's hilarious. No, it's not. It's ace. I love it. That's... That's probably your number. No, that's her number. Hey, beautiful. Hey, that's what you call me. That's Nikita's number for Anton. Some girl. Funny story. What's the funny story? No, nah, funny story. What's the funny story? Tell me the story, baby. I'll tell you the story. <laughs> no, nah, funny, we're doing a signing and... About three days is open. That's not a little out. And a cold, warm up tyres. To the brakes for me, please. Reynolds on a very, very good lap. His first sector better than anybody by a big chunk. Great lap, champ. Great lap. See what it goes. Where does Davey drop in? And he oh. goes to the top on a 112.1. David Reynolds, superstar. He won, champ. He won. You can't hear me, but I'm just going to try and tell you anyway. He doesn't even know the has gone flat. <laughs> I didn't realise I was on pole till I got like three quarters away around the track. I could see the big screens and like my name was first. And I was like, oh yes, oh yes. That's when I started celebrating. <laughs> Ready? We got it. <laughs> Reynolds, Mostert, McLaughlin, Van Gisbergen. David Reynolds has ruined the McLaughlin pole party of the recent past. Hey! I love being on pole, but what I love more is like the team celebrating when you get that. And that's like the coolest feeling for me, is watching all the team celebrate. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. Wow. So good.
It's a monkey off our back just to get a pole. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Hey, Betty, there you go. You I made you some money for one. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe we beat Scott. Me. What happened? Wonder if Nikita was watching. Hope so. <laughs> so you reckon Chaz would be as quick as Scott in that car? Should be. I don't know. Chaz is pretty good. But I think I think anyone should like anyone that anyone that's a good driver should do the same all, time as him. Ev everyone should be no, within a, a tenth or two. No human is that much better. Like us, but no, I'm not saying. Well, no human is that much better. There's obviously he's got he's pretty good at one lap pace. Yeah. Right. No matter where he goes, and it's safe to say that he won the championship in a substandard car last year. Alleged, allegedly. He dragged that thing across the line. Allegedly, yeah. No other forms were really going anywhere near it. No. But it's so technically like, still not, right? But that's... There comes a time where you got to go, well, maybe there's a percentage of it that's hit. If you were in the Mustang, Scotty's exact car, yeah. would you be as quick as that? I don't know. News from Townsville, great news that David Reynolds has the pole position. Alongside him, Chaz Mostert. Good job, Rod. Okay. Well done. Good luck. Good luck, mate. Hey, it's good, good to get one back. Nice good way. job. Yeah. <laughs> Race 17. This is a track that we absolutely love. Well Thanks, mate. It's good to get one back on you. <laughs> you got a big head start this year on poles, but uh, yeah, we'll try enough. and take a couple. <laughs> Have a good one. We go on, mate. Take it easy. Fuck, mate. Top ten points. That's all we need. Another great day to be in North Queensland. 24 cars on the grid launch into action for 200 kilometres. Reynolds has made a fine start. Mostert and McLaughlin have got a bumping duel going through turn one. Oh. That's beautiful racing. Hey, Chaz. Take a look at David Reynolds' gap. Almost six seconds now. So whilst these guys are playing, he's bolted. Yes, good job. <laughs> Week, Davey. Dave's in a bit of trouble. I reckon in this next phase of the race, the car doesn't look quite as good. Something must have shed itself. Can't go that slow all of a sudden. Have you worked there, Davey? He's really consistent. He's only going to attack you for a couple of laps, so hold him off for then. You have to drive away again. Good advice. Alistair, I'm not sure whether that's 100% right, but it's but it's a nice, positive approach. I swear he's going to try it. Here we go. Oh, he has. He's got him. How long to leave the door open that For sake. Dave could have turned in there. He didn't. And he's got to now give it away because you're only going to hold each other up. Talk about him all he likes. That's why he's better. Just lost the race because of that. In this lap, got a couple of So they'll be looking to try and soak up. They're drifting a bit on McLaughlin at the moment. We got a problem drama with the, gun the left here. and rear. Oh, it's a no. serious drama going on here. Fucking hell! That is a brand new uh, tire. Are they covered by fuel? Are they covered by no. fuel? No. It was a wheel nut issue again, once very similar to what we have seen with that car or those cars in the last couple of races. It's just bullshit. So when you see Barry flying off the handle. It's not because he's a bad person, it's because he cares, it's because he's convicted, he's invested in it, 
He now has got his own money in it. We have 15 f***ing seconds to put a wheel on. 15 f***ing seconds. On the short races, they can do a five second stop. At this stop, they had 17 seconds, so it should have been, it should have been the easiest stop of their life to have that much time to change a tyre. We're f***ing professionals here. If everybody wants to kiss, I'm they can I'm just saying to him, he needs to keep him. We're f***ing professionals. He needs to keep himself up. They can't f*** up. There's no such thing as f***ing up anymore. They can't think for them f***ing selves. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to be in Barry's path tonight. Oh, Dave runs wide a little bit there at turn two. And that is for position. That moves Shane up into fifth position. Oh, f that. They confirmed his tenure with the team earlier in the weekend. Scott McLaughlin puts together a beautiful victory in Townsville. Pissed off practice tonight. Once the cars are finished. Out in the racetrack, you've got to leave your emotions and your ego aside and try and just do the best job for the team. You know, just get over it, really. You're a little bit angry, but there's not much you can do about it. There's my way. Is. This is what practice ain't going to fix what just happened. Well, we're doing it. I don't know. How can it fix a 17 second stop? How can you a 17 second We did all the stop? practice in the workshop changing a wheel nut. And he froze when it jammed. Straight after, I was gutted. Uh, you just want to crawl up into a ball and have it out with a punching bag or something like that. You, you're shattered for Dave because you know, he's doing his best to get the best position he can, and you know, you've let him down. You've let the crew down and your boss down, and you've got to focus and continue to do your job and do your job as best as you can with no mistakes. So He had so much more grip than me. It was bullshit. Before I went to sleep last night, I was watching all that. Um, I was reading social media shit and Speed Cafe and Facebook. Yeah. So funny, man. People ripping yeah, all into you. All the PC ads. people that just can't deal with getting yelled at, you can tell their parents oh, yeah. smacked them when they were kids. No, no, but it's all unions, man. Everyone's, you can't tell anyone off anymore. Yeah, I know. And what I said, they're saying I said I was going to sack them, that. I said I was going to replace someone. Oh, shall just... I read some out? <laughs> Wait, yeah, I'll find it. I'll find it. It's f***ing funny. Class on Davey, Ryan, you're a tool. Wait, <laughs> Yeah, but Dave is one of these I want to hold hands and skip people. He, he he's like to, oh, it's okay, it's all good. No, it's not okay, mate. Mm. We just went from a six-second lead to sixth. Me, I don't I don't get in anyone's ear if they make mistakes. I probably make more mistakes than anyone else. So, you know, I understand it's it's part of growing and and it's a part of racing. You know, you're always going to make mistakes as long as you don't keep making the same mistake. Barry Ryan showed us he's not a leader today to throw a wheel man under the bus without being aware of the facts. Of course he was aware of the facts. They said, we do like 10 facts. minutes later. He knew the facts. He watched the facts. But that guy knew the facts. <laughs> yeah, 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 sorry. He knew yeah, exactly yeah, what yeah. happened. <laughs> Barry Ryan has shown time and time again that he's a bellend. A what? A bellend. A dick. <laughs> <laughs> Barry has a terrible attitude to during adversity. Between this, Anton's blasting and Davy's incident at Bathurst, you're officially a huge wanker, Barry. <laughs> Pull your bloody head and like, go, you mate. Nah, who gives a f The pit stop, I'm not going to harp on it anymore, and whatever I say in the media, that's just me, and everybody knows me by now. I'll get over it in 10 minutes. But um, I cop flack for it all the time. I've been an angry shit since I was probably born, so that's that's just me. I'm not gonna ch I'm not gonna change. <laughs> yeah, as I was born. <laughs> the last little quote someone sent me last night from the team 
Luck is what happens when prepar preparation meets opportunity. I think it's a good quote. It's not about luck. It's about preparation and getting it right. Barry's like a, a boxer dog, you know, like his bark is worse than his bite. And he says things straight away which he regrets five minutes later, but his leadership is never in doubt. Those boys are loyal as loyal can be. And yes, they know that he'll throw something or he'll, he'll fire you ten times in the one day. But he's, I can't even call it loyalty, he's... You know, it's like he bleeds Erebus. I've never said anyone's going to be sacked. Oh, yeah, Even yesterday, was. I said I, I somebody will be replaced. Yeah, yeah replaced. That's <laughs> fine. And I said at Philip Island, I said, um, I said somebody won't be, won't be here tomorrow. <laughs> they won't be here at Philip Island. <laughs> so. Well, that's <laughs> what you know. He did he did things with me is usually just frustration of you know something not being followed or or knowing that we could have done it better and, you know, it might have been a silly decision that, you know, probably shouldn't have happened, but, yeah, a lot of it's frustration. Yeah, All right. Dave, well done. How are you going to get Paul again? Are you going to tell me, well done, I've got past someone? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Did that actually happen? Oh, well done, yes. Yeah, it, it did. It'd be on the radio. Well, can yeah. somebody please tell me I did well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. No, I said... Like, Preview for every round. I've you never... <laughs> <laughs> I generally don't want to talk about it. Um, it's Dave would be very good at making a movie, and no one in the movie actually knew it was a movie except himself. So um, he's generally made this whole thing about it, and I'm not in, not involved. You don't have an old sister, do you? Yeah. How old is she? Uh, she's sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, ace. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. I think there's going to be carnage today. Carnage? Why? Yeah. I don't know. I just got a feeling that Saturday is carnage, Sunday's clean. We were clean yesterday, so I think today we might broom I mean, the cars up. There's a lot of people out there who've got something to prove. Yeah. And they're going to take advantage of that and they're going to well, go out there and. I look at it, we've got time between the race, between the next race. Mm. There's time to get the car back and fix. I love these people. Do you have gay time? Gay time, not a problem. I should say happy time. This one? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So, if we can be in the top ten, I'm going to be really happy. As a team, we need to finish in the top ten. Brain freeze! Brain freeze. We'll see what the stopwatch says. He gets to the line and he's dropped in behind. Fabian Coulthard on a 12.9. He missed out by only five one hundredths. David Reynolds, yesterday's pole sitter into the final corner. He slips and slides out of there in first gear. He lights up the rears. I don't think he's going to quite get to him. Position number two. Pretty decent lap. Yeah, lots of pay attention to five. Good job, mate. Next up, we've got Scott McLaughlin. How good is it going to be? It's only good enough for P2. It's an armor all pole for Cam Waters. Well done, Cam Waters. Good job. But we're the top olden. What a wonderful time of the year to be in gorgeous Townsville, North Queensland. And the latest update in terms of the weather, we've just had a very light shower go through as we run into our race this afternoon. Good enough, but good job. <laughs> Did you say what? What? what oh, f that's not even finished. Oh man. Nah, it's lots more rain. Good luck. Adding a little bit of water to the story. This changes everything. Lights change. You can't apply all the big horsepower to the road on a wet track at Townsville. So they have to gently ease them away. Waters has done a beautiful job of that. Let's go wild in Townsville as they get down to the second turn. Oh! Reynolds has tripped over the top of McLaughlin. Is there damage? Yep. Can he get the thing to turn? No. He's broken the front left corner of it. 
and that's catastrophic for McLaughlin. Why the f did they start that race? F***ing dangerous. Mate, just slow down. We're going to lose five laps anyway, so just slow down, get it done right. Chris got car 17 moves on the brakes. As we look at Wind Cup down the inside of Di Pasquale, and that's a clean, positive move. Up one spot now into sixth. You didn't go up in pressure, did you? Don't you think it's better going longer than this time? You only got to be out of other cups. Just follow the you'll, wind you'll cup. End up where you are, just try it. Whatever wind cup does always works. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Crash. Got damage, so wind cups come unglued here. There's big damage front and rear on car 88. I don't think it's wet, mate. Do not put hey, wets on. Look. It's not wet. You don't understand. You're only going to do it for six laps, then you can fit the fuel in, put the slicks back on. Picking the right tyre at the right time, it's almost like an art form, but it's also a bit of luck. At least for the next 10 laps until you can put the rest of the fuel in, you're on wets. What's, what can you lose? Then put the rest of the fuel in, put the slicks back on and go. Come in this lap, put the wets on. If you make the right call at the right time and take a bit of a punt and it work, works your way, falls your way, you can look like an absolute genius. Could make five. Now all you need to do is get to the window where you get your fuel in, put slicks back on, you're there. You work at wind from where it was. Painted lines, no grip. Oh, hell. Get on the radio. Right, 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 right. Inside, inside. They get through. They get through there. That's remarkable. How long before 99's got room in the tank? With, with no, with no vent. Third lap, 31. So Anton Di Pasquale, this could be a master stroke for Erebus Racing. Pace is really good, mate. Pace is really good. So I'll keep that up. Keep consistency for me, please. Can do six men. Uh, tire yeah. change, uh, just fuel, and it's just, just fuel only, no tires. Just not tires. Sweet. Get ready to go. Get ready to go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. go. Oh, mate, good job. We've got one on the line, so I have to give you the position. Oh, my goodness, there's a fire there at Brad Jones Racing. Fantastic response from all those people yeah, from other teams, amazing. Greg. They were first on the scene. He's our yeah. hero. He photo bombed them. I believe the race is going to finish under the safety car because we've got three legs to go and it's a bit of crazy thing going on here. So just keep updating us and I'll get more information. So Shane Van Gisbergen is going to win this race. <laughs> what a day. What a day in Townsville. Good job, mate. Good job. Uh, yeah, B4, B4. Uh, good job. So close, Baz. Good job, mate. Well done. Well done. Fair luck. So, don't wait, eh? The only thing you could have done differently was come in while that safety car was going. Yeah, well, I said it did a bad, eh? He, he sent me that first, so I was allowed to text him back. Wheels interlocking, no contact with the wall. Oh, the wall I said 17 was... moves right. Look at the gap to the line, and then look at the gap. Take him out. Bring back one. the Biff. Bring back the Biff, Paul Morris style. <laughs> hey, bro. You move to the right, mate. You move to the right, Scott. You can see clearly. Watch it again before you accuse anyone, because you move to the right. He's come down and tried to, you know, plead his. Ignorance or innocence, I don't know, but I find it I find it quite funny, so yeah. I don't even he, he must have something against me or no, it was you. It was not once you went to the right, there was no room. Hey, go sit down, have a look. Have a look at it. If you look at the line, I didn't move an inch. I mean he was pretty desperate. Um, he complains a lot about our cars and all that sort of stuff and I think he needs to have a good long hard look at it himself. Move. Move. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Move. 
Well, after the race, I went down and saw him just to see what the hell happened. And then he basically blamed it on me, go look at the footage and then come back, which I did. I come back. From my point of view, he didn't have a response. So um, I felt like I held my line. We were able to come back. Our car was only damaged slightly and able to press on, but it's disappointing. Privacy here. Great kissy, kissy, huggy, huggy. I said he didn't move, and I said he did. I said we're going to argue black and blue until this racing, mate. He's like, oh, risk management. I'm like, did you him? I'm enjoying it. It's funny, as I think it's hilarious. So, if there's no rivalry in sport, it's kind of boring. So, yeah, see what happens. Hi everyone, it's July, it's cold and miserable outside, but inside here at RSN's Melbourne studios, it's warming right up. Jack's back and so too are the Tigers. Scott's winning pretty much everything and punching on when he's not on top of the podium. 2018 Supercars champion and current series leader, Scott McLaughlin, mm. hello, welcome. Yeah, Hi everybody, welcome to Below the Bonnet. Boys, Fantastic to have you here both. David Reynolds joins us after a massive weekend. Uh, probably this is going to be the most anticipated episode. episode. Let's focus in on Townsville. Turn one, a mm. lap one. You were starting from the front row. You made a brilliant start. And then David Reynolds um, made decent contact with you. Took you pretty much effectively both out of the race by, uh, by the end of turn one. The thing is, I believe I went down to turn one. I was... I was overly cautious. I I, I probably was, um, you know, a bit of water. I was worried about the wet lines and all that sort of stuff. So backed off a little bit. Dave probably saw an opportunity. If you look at the footage from the start that has the head-on shot looking back from turn two, he even goes behind Waters' car a little bit. And then as I start to like come down the inside, you see him pull out of Waters' line of, or like out of his car. You can see it clear as day. It can't be any clearer. He says I moved, I don't believe I moved. If anything, it was a millimeter. Um, if anything, which sometimes you do when you do brake pretty hard, things move around, especially in those conditions. Do you think he should have got a penalty then? Well, I, I, I'd, I'd believe, yes. This could get really ugly. Well, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm of the, of the point where it's, it's, you know, Dave says all that, he wants to be friends with everyone, all that sort of stuff, but he's competitive. We're all competitive, we all want to beat each other, and relatively, in this sport, you're gonna to get to a point where you don't like someone. Like, you can't like everyone, that's, that's just BS. The last time I can remember something this actual genuine and this good, because I can see where this rivalry's heading, because I still think Dave's probably one of the only guys that can, at least on speed, take it to Scott. I just want to get on with it. At the end of the day, it, it really, for me, I'm still in the championship. That's what I'm worried about. And, um, you know, Davey's probably hurt himself more than, more than uh, it's hurt me. cooking for this bunch, which I don't often do because they're not often in Sydney. And when they are, I uh, feel obligated to actually give them, feed them. It's nice to have them here. It's nice to just sit back and talk about things we don't get a chance to talk about on track. And they get to see me as a normal human being and not someone who's, you know, talking at a million miles an hour to a thousand people at once. Sometimes you just need to be away. You just need to be away from a track, from from the factory, from everything else. And it's easier for me, it's easier when they come up here just for me to have them at home, have a barbecue or something, a couple of beers, and that's it. There you go. What's up? Hey, dude. Air fryer. 
How good is that? Can I eat some? No. Come on, no, please. No, no, that was had some. He did. He did. Fingers will be lost, Dave. Fingers will be lost. You've got to understand Daniel and I and the way this we live our lives to understand how we we like Erebus to run. Freedom of choice. It's a democracy with a benevolent dictator. <laughs> I think the whole world should be run by a benevolent dictator. I've got a spoon here for anything. Oh, gravy. The gravy's out. Is that sweet potato bed or pumpkin? Pumpkin. pumpkin. It's generally just a meat salad. They have most animal products on offer. There's lamb, there's chicken, there's pork, there's steak. Oh, well, I don't know. The vibe here is uh, pretty, pretty relaxed. It's, a, it's Betty's home. Does not a lot, a lot of stress around here, so... The conversation flows into many different avenues. We obviously talk about racing, because that's what we have a lot in common. Then we start talking about conspiracy theories. You actually go for that going to the moon thing? We went to the moon ace. We went to the I moon watched it. I sat in my school room Very and watched it. Conspiracy theories and conspiracy theories, and it just goes spirals downhill, so. But how come we haven't, we don't live on the moon? Because why would you want to live there? It's worse than Switch. It's worse than Switch. They've probably only got one taller there, too. Yeah, that's a really good bunch of people. Could you imagine having a race on the moon in little moon buggies? You'd have a Red Bull moon buggy and an Erebus moon buggy and a DJR Team Penske moon buggy. We'd have to make our, our Eric, would have to be better. Yeah, but we're the ones supplying the moon buggies. We'd have to have a little Eric, with no gravity. Yeah. 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 Oh, apparently it is nice. Do you like Dire Straits? No. What do you listen to? Drake or something? It's now round nine of the Virgin Australia Supercast Championship. James Courtney, now he bumped Deep Pasquale. Hands have got taken out. He pushes him off with it. Dave Reynolds has not got all his fuel in that car. Uh, was this the result of? Barry, I'd be happy with that. I'm glad I wasn't there because I couldn't say anything wrong. <laughs>